It is regularity, not intensity, that is the key to fitness and figure. Just doing your aerobic exercise day in and day out builds a strong cardiovascular system and luckily reduces body fat at the same time. We're talking better legs here. My advice to you is try and use this tape regularly and for the whole period. Try and go the distance. Now, if you have to cheat and modify and pull back to get through the whole thing, that's fair. The effort is to try and go the 20 minutes of aerobic activity. Just do your best and hang in there. I can't wait to get going today. I have an exercise for about oh, three no. or four days. Yeah, how long is the Hello, party? guys. Are you ready to work out? Huh? In the mood? All right, are you in the mood? Let's get you warmed up. And you're gonna cross over one foot, over and over. That's it, just step across. So far, so good. Now remember, it doesn't matter that you, you mess up a pattern here or there. Our effort is to warm you up to gradually increase your blood flow. Hands are coming up to chest. And we elevate your heart rate slowly get you in the target zone and then we hold you there 20 minutes knees are coming up lift lift that's it we got eight seven six and four three hands are on the top lift them up you get a harder workout when you lift those hands over your head so we'll do some of that here's eight seven six and four Three at the elbows, arms are gonna flex. That's it. And four, three. Give us a little step touch with the feet. Step touch, step touch. That's it. Arthur Murray couldn't do better himself. Eight, seven, six. All right, now give us a punch. Here we go, to the side. And punch, punch. Let that trailing foot come off the floor. Center with the flex. Eight, seven, six. Here's four. All right, ready with the punch. And out, and out, and out, and four. And steady to the front, right here. That's it. Now you're beginning to breathe a little deeper. Good, and punch. Still just warming you up. And four, three, Hold it to the center with that flex. All right, reach and hit. Up and up. That's it. Eight, seven, six. Here's four. Give me a squat. Hold the hands up and up. All right, those big, strong quadricep muscle groups right there working. And reach and here's four, three, Two, hold it right down here. Now we really isolate those quads. Support your upper body on your thighs so your old low back is not working at all. We got four, three, take it side to side. Keep those hands right there. And four, three, right in the center. Good quadricep presses. Now if that starts to burn or cramp on you, come up, don't stay down. Here's eight, seven, six, and four, and three, and to the center. Eight, seven, six. Now we're gonna warm up your shins. Strengthen the anterior tibialis. Lift the toes up, up, and switch. Four aside. Give me two aside. Keep the knee bent and pull up those toes so the muscle in the front of your shin is strengthened. Those are the muscles that need to be strong to prevent shin splints. One per leg. Lift, lift, lift. Here's four, three. Now both feet at the same time and double time. Down, 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 down. That's it. Trying to keep the knees bent. Hang on. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one, and all right, let's stretch.
you out. Minimal stretch. Heel is down on that back calf. That foot is straight ahead. Let's pump the upper body just so we don't lose that heart rate. You feel some tension in the calf muscle? That's what we want. If you want some balance here, turn the front foot in, not the back foot. On the toes, right there. Hold it up. Pelvic tilt. Turn your pelvis. Lower it down for a more intense stretch right here. And pump. And pump. These are hip flexor muscles. That's it. Can you feel it? Good. We only got four more. And three. And two. And one. Now you're going to reverse your weight and bring up the toes. Punch. 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 That's it. Good. Now we got the other side to do here. Hold those toes right up there. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. For four, three, two, and the other side. The heel is down. That foot dead straight ahead. Upper body with a little movement. How's your balance? Turn in that front toe. That front foot will give you a little balance. You feel this tension in the calf muscles. Seven, six. Here's four, three, two. Right there. Tiptoe. Pelvic tilt, right, let's see it. Tilt it, that's it. Take it down, feel that stretch in the hip flexors and pump it, and pump it. All right. Just a little tension, you don't want any pain. Here's eight, seven, six, and four, three. Hold it right there. Transfer your weight now to the back foot. Support your upper body on your thigh. Toes are up, and leg pump. Up, and up. And those hamstring muscles in the back of your thigh, that muscle group crosses both your hip and your knee joint, they're on stretch. Because they're gonna kick for you later on. Hang on, we got four, three, two, one, and to center. You guys feel like working? Are you warm? All right, up and up, up. Let's use the hands and circle, that's it. All right, now all you gotta do here is go the distance. Modify whenever you need to. Suit your own ability and disability. We got eight, seven, six, four. Just give me one hand, four counts. Four, three, and both. Four, three, try the other side for four. Four, and the front. Okay, you got it. Repeat and over. And, you know, if you're really keen to reduce your body fat, I want to see you doing this four to six times a week. Forward. Take a little jog and both. That's it. At three times a week, you maintain fitness. If four, it takes four to six aerobic exposures to increase fitness and reduce body fat and back right there let's take it front and back one more time forward and take it back one hand all right now we're going to move across the room here we go a side step right there Say, you know you also burn more fat as fuel if you exercise in a very cool environment. So turn down that thermostat, baby, and burn off some fat. Here's four, three, and just little gentle steps. Not too much jumping yet. Let's warm those structures real well. Again. Step. Hold it there. One more to the side and it. Four, three, and both hands. And four, three, and. All right, now watch the feet. We're going to shuffle. They're going to go double time. Here's four, three, and right there. So this is a very sports oriented foot pattern. Here you are playing squash. <laughs> or tennis. <laughs> All right, try it again. That's the shuffle. Hold it. And again, four, three, 
Right there. Now we'll give a little jump with the heels, a heel toe. Four, three, alternate the feet. That's it. Does that feel okay? You guys all right? All right. Hit across the room. Move, pussy cat. Here we come. Alternate. And switch. So if you're going to try and get your room real cool to exercise, you're going to have to be real attentive to your warm-up. Those muscles have to be well warm before you start uh, stripping down your sweat. So hold it right here. Just hold those alternate heels. That's it. Give me eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, and four. All right, drop those hands. They're tired, but hold the feet. Ready to kick? Little side kicks. Bring them up. So I would suggest that you start in a cold room. Heels are down, low impact. And then when you're feeling warm, strip it down. Kick it, high impact. We alternate the two and take it down. We're gonna minimize the trauma to your joints. Keep your heart rate high. And take it up, eight, seven. Can you give me that to the front? Here we go, heels to the front. Low impact. Four more. That's it, and now kick it out. All right. And four, swing it back to the side. We got heels for eight. There's four more. And a kick. Good. Another thing you can do to reduce your body fat to the front is exercise on an empty stomach. First thing in the morning before you eat breakfast is very good. Four, three, to the side, heels. So that if you've just eaten, you tend to burn more carbohydrate for fuel. But if you're two hours or more from your last meal to the front, you're gonna burn more fat for fuel. All right. And kick front, we got eight, seven, six, four. And heel side, eight, seven, four more. All right, now watch out on these side kicks. Here's the pattern, here it comes. Ready? It's single, single, double, kick, single, single. All right, you got it. Single, single, double, kick. Try it to the front. Here we go. Single, single, and a double. Single, single. Try two more. Single, single, and single. Try it to the side. Single, single. That's it. Single, single. Try it to the front. Twice. How you doing? Good. Yeah. All right. All right. Give me one side. And the pad in front. Single, single. Side. Again. Single, single. And front. But we beat that one to death. Hold it side. Single, single. Double. And single. Now with the knees. It's single, single, double knee, and single. All right, try your elbows to the opposite. And again, single, single, double. Looks good. Two more. All right. Leave out the double. Give me single knees. Eight, seven. Good work. Now just drop those hands and touch hand to foot. Hup, hup, you with us? And four, hey, take it to the back. Kick behind. Four, three, alternate one leg. Four, three, try the other leg. All right, hit it to the front. There you go. And four more. Four, three, let's see it behind. Now you can modify this if you're getting tired. Don't jump it, just step it. 
four, three. How do you step it? Let me show you. That's it. To the front. You just step it out. Let them do the work. Four, three, and to the back. That's it. Four more. Alternate on one leg. Lonnie, what's going on back there? All right. Four. Take it to the front. We got eight, seven, six, four. Looks good, guys. Take it back. Here you go. Hold it right there. Hold those feet. Elbows and push. Up, up. That's it. Good work. And four, three. Watch out the hands. They're on the top. Right up. Now we've got a heart rate pumping. Elbows. Pull them down. And four more. And on the top. Good. Four. We're going to alternate one more time. Let's see those elbows. That's it. Four more. All right. Hands are on the top. Getting tired of that foot pattern. All right. Hold the hands and jog. That's it. Good. Give me eight, seven, six. Here's four. Now watch out and push. Up, up. Use that upper body. Four, three, and jog. Four, three, push back. You know, 30% of your energy expenditure comes from the upper body. So that means if you want a higher heart rate, you can really drive it up there by using the arms vigorously. Conversely, if you're tired, keep your hands down. Give it this. And you'll go the distance. And when you get a little stronger, you can use your upper body. Four, three, and four, three. Let's hold this jog. Hold it right here. That's it. You're looking just fine now. We're halfway through this. Come on, let's bring it on home. Try and keep your feet going, if nothing else. Watch out, hands are gonna change side to side. There you go. All right. Four, and let them down. Eight, seven, six. Hold the hands, watch the feet stride. That's it. Four, three, hold the feet, hands are up. Eight, seven, six. Good work. Hold the hands and twist. Eight, seven, six. Four more. Hold the twist, hands are down. And four, watch the feet, watch the feet. Heel. Four more. Four, three, hold the heels, hands are up. Eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, and jaw. You guys are feeling good, I can tell. Okay, repeat. Eight, seven, six. Four, what's next? Hands are down. Whoa. Four more. Give me stride on the feet. Now try and roll through to press your heels down on the floor. Gives your calves a little chance to stretch out for you. All right, give those feet a rest, low impact. Keep your toes on the floor. Hold the twist, drop the hand. Eight, seven, six, good work. Heels, here we go. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Hands are up. Eight, seven, six, four. Jog it. All right, hold this jog. I'm gonna throw a curveball at you. One, two, three, four, hold, hold. One, two, three, four, drop the hands, hold the pattern. One, two, three, four, hold, hold, you got it? Give me stride on the feet. One, two, three, hold, hold. All right, bring the hands up. One, two, three, hold, hold. One, two, three, rest those feet and twist. Again. 
And down. Good. Hands and heels. Ho, ho. One, two, three. Bring the hands up. Hold those heels. Feel like a short order cook here. And jog. Come on, open that mouth. Breathe deep now. Process as much oxygen as you can. One, two, three. Ho, ho. One, two, three. And stride. That's it, again. And bring them up. That's it. Hold them and twist. You know, if you exercise late in the day, drop your hands, no more than two hours before your evening meal, research suggests that you will further reduce your body fat. Hands are up. One, two, three. How does that work? Let me tell you. For one thing, hold, hold. You're revving up your heart rate at a time when your metabolism normally falls in the evening. Now stride it out. One, two, three. That's it. So you're giving yourself a little kick in the pants when you would normally be slowing down. All right. Hold the hand and twist. One, two, three. Hold. Last time. Give me singles on that twist. Right there. Good. Drop those hands. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Toes are on the floor. Give your feet a rest. Hands to the front. The other thing is that you're going to create an appetite suppression. Doing aerobic activity suppresses your appetite for about two hours. So you're going to eat less at that evening meal, which is normally your largest. Take it back. Got any room? Scoot it back. Four. Now use those hands and jog it forward. Charge. Four. All right, cover territory. Move. That's it. Four more. Use those hands, jog it forward. Good. Four, three, and twist back. And four. All right, watch out this time. Keep the hands right there. You're gonna twist back, but the hands stay front. Eight, seven, six, four, three, again. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Last time to twist. All right, four. Now jog it. And this time when you go back, alternate heels. Four, three, here you go. Heel, heel, heel. Four, three, and jog it forward. You know, we are primarily reducing body fat with this activity. But there's no question that we're gonna build some muscle here, particularly in the lower body, the legs. And the more muscle mass you have, the more calories you burn at rest. Good news. Good incentive to weight train. Eight, seven. Hey, do you like jumping jacks? If you don't, hold the heels. Otherwise, jump, jump. Let the heels down. Bend at the knees for shock absorption. Jog. All right, got your springs on. Now jump. Eight, seven, four. Now, again, if you don't like jumping jacks, you do heels with me. They can jump. And eight, seven, six, four, three. Good work. All right, hold this jog. Let's play round robin. You guys ready? ready. Want to play? All right. What we need in here is new hands. Renee, circle. She wants circle hands. She's got circle hands. Okay, now we got new hands. Lonnie, are you back there? I'm here. We need 
No feet. Knees are up. Knees are up. Hands are up. Eight, seven, lowering. New hands. Okay. Fists are up. Four, one. Good work. I like it. Let's go again. Up, Diane. Be thinking. We need new feet. Four, three, two, double knees. Double and up. Double and up. Two times per leg. All right. My turn, gang. What can I do with this? Watch out. Watch the legs. It's a crossover. Front, back. Front, back. Cross, cross. That's it. Show me eight. Eight, seven, six, four. Now just give me four regular knees. Four, three. Now cross. And cross the other ones. Knees take you back. And cross. Good on you guys. You hung right in here. Almost done now. Cross. And last time. Four, three, cross. Hold that pattern with the heels. Four, three, and cross. Out, in, out, switch, out. Last time. Here you go. Out, in, out, out, in, out. Good on you! Yeah! You're 20 minutes of aerobics. I need you to keep those legs moving vigorously. Try and find a heart rate. I'll give you 10 seconds. And ready, set, count. That's real important. You keep those legs moving pretty vigorously so that blood doesn't pool in your lower body. You can faint dead away. And stop. Are you there? Yes? How about you, in the target zone? Have a look at these heart rates and just check it out. These heart rates are built for 10 second counts so you don't even have to do any math. Now I'd like to see you between eh, 60 and 80% intensity. Gals, your intensity is on the vertical, your age on the horizontal. But if you're over 80%, say you're 85, maybe even 90% intensity, it just means that you're, you're probably working harder than you have to to maximize your fat burning. If you feel terrific and you say, golly, if I work any less, you know, I don't feel like I'm having any fun. It's not a workout. Okay, you've probably got one of those hearts that's a little smaller than the norm. Keep your legs going. Here we go. We got four heels and four knees and up and up. Researchers tell us that maybe 20% of the population, many of them female, have a heart that's just a little smaller than the norm. No disease, no pathology, but that little heart's just got to work a little harder to do the same workload. So if you chronically find your heart rate high, but you feel terrific, you feel like you're just having fun and having a good workout, that's probably you. However, if it were me, I would just check with my physician for my peace of mind, if nothing else. That's it, and knees are up. Let's change the pattern. Give me four kicks. Kick and kick, and then a double scoot. Two kicks and switch, and four again. That's it. Say now, if you wanted to really boost your reduction of body fat, here's another tip. If you will skew your calories earlier in the day, you will actually lose fat without eating any less total calories. It's true. Give me heels. Four times, three, two, and four knees. We're combining these two now. And kick. Four, three, two, and doubles. Out and out and heels. As North Americans, we are very much conditioned to have our big meal at night. And that's when we really tend to put on the fat. Those calories are stored as fat more readily than calories taken in earlier in the day. It's true. So, if you will have a 
nice breakfast and then a big lunch, you'll eat 75% of your daily calories before 2 o'clock. That's the rule. So your supper is going to have to be a little smaller than might be normal for a North American. Now remember, you're not cutting down how much you eat, you're just cutting down the food at night and eating more earlier in the day. All right, how you doing? You cooling down? All right, let me switch it, change this. Take a squat and lift, up and down. She says, uh-oh. Everybody knows this is bad news. Now, a little work here. Focus your mental energies. One arm has three positions. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. The other arm only has two. And they are just up and down. You ready for this? I'm gonna put them together. Now, up, out, down, up, out, together. How'd we do, gay? <laughs> Don't tell me you did that perfectly. <laughs> Try it again. Up, out, down. Up, out, down, up. Now forget that hand, try the other. And down, up, down. Can you put them together? Here we go. Up, out, down, up, out, down. <laughs> Are you cool enough to work? Come on down, let's get you started on some abdominals. Abdominal muscles in North Americans tend to be a little on the lax side, so here's the battle of the bulge. Get right down here, put your knees together, your feet apart, and watch the pelvis. Squeeze your buns, give me a pelvic tilt. The easiest position is with the hands out and just curl. Up and down, curl, that's it. Now the hard thing about this, and maybe it won't come today. Maybe you're going to take a, a while to practice it. You're going to try to pull your belly down. Belly pulls down. Watch out. Have a closer look. Here's the belly pulling down. Now watch out. I'm going to let it pop up. Pop. Pull. Pop. Pull. And you want it pulling down if you can possibly try that. So hold these curls. If you need them to be a little harder, put your hands back. Up and down. See how much harder that is? Your range of motion is a little less. So drop the dead weight of your head in your hands. Your hands are a pillow. Virtually no work going on in your neck. All the work is happening in the belly and you're trying to pull it down, down. And that just takes mental concentration time after time and eventually it starts to happen. Four more curls, here's four and three and two. Now we're gonna make it harder, slow it down. Two up, two down. It's up and up and down and down. Don't rush it, up and up and down and down. Easy and down and down. Use those belly muscles, the rectus abdominis, the ones right in the front. And down last time. Up and up and down and down. Real quick, come on, cheat with us. Oh, relax, rest. Stretch your back muscles and leave those legs right there. Now take your elbows to knees at double time. Lift, lift. You don't have time to relax. Don't take your head all the way back to the mat. That's it. Pull, pull, and still making a real gargantuan effort to pull that belly down on every lift. Now that's going to alternate with the second position, which looks like this. Down, up, down. The arms are parallel to the floor here, and you're just lifting up and down. Cast your gaze on the ceiling slightly behind your head, and this is Low. And take it up and down, up, down. Here's four, three. Now elbows to your knees at double time. Reach, reach. That's it. No rest for the wicked. Three, two, slow it down. Down, up. How are you doing? Here's four, three. 
Double time, elbows to knees. Pull, pull, pull. And four, three, slower down. Here's down and up. If you get tired, if you start to burn a cramp, you need to take a rest, catch us back up. And pull, eight, seven, six. It's the last time. Hang on, make it your best. Here you go, down and up, slow and up, down, up. Let's go four more, just for good measure. Four, three, and up, two, and up, last one, and up. I need it, two, oh, sweet release. Pull those knees in, let your belly relax and your back stretch. Now, bring those knees to the outside. We're going to work the obliques, the internal external obliques on the side of your trunk. You're going to reach up and back and up and back and up and back. So you're holding the lower body very still. Up, up and back. And the upper body is twisting as much as it can. Okay, let's speed it up. Forget the rest. Twist, twist, twist. Now we're in business. Over and over. That's it. Come on. Really give me a torque on the upper body. Hang on. Can you give me eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last one. Oh, bring those knees up here and squeak us a little rest again. Now. We're gonna give it a reverse curl. You're gonna keep those knees as close as you can to your chest. Use the lower fibers of the rectus abdominis to curl your bum up in the air. Down, up, down, and none of this. Oh no, no momentum, but this. Work and down, up and down, up and down, up, down, up. You got it? Now listen, that can be very tough. Just be sure that your knees are bent as severely as possible and you keep those thighs close to your chest and the work is with the belly. And up, I'm gonna slow it down, watch out. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Try not to hold your breath even though it's very difficult. And up, and up, down, down, up, up. That's it. Good work. You want to make it as difficult rolling down as rolling up. Down, down, so you don't fall down, you roll down. Down, down, and back to strict time. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Use that belly. Now what we're doing is strengthening the muscles that underlie the fat. You gotta do the aerobics to whittle away the fat on your middle. And then you gotta do abdominal training to build a good, strong corset of muscle to hold in your innards and protect your low back. Down, up, you about to wear out? All right, we got four and up. Three, and up, how are you guys doing? Not much complaining. Last one, oh, gosh, I really feel that. All right, let's work your legs now. If you've got some weight, this is the time to use it. We're going to start at the top, where the real battle is, and that's the glutes, right in your bum. And you're going to press up, down, up, down. Now the effort is to weight bear on this foot, which is fairly close to your bum, and not arch your back. It's not this and this and this and this. It's just a little lift. Pretend like you're gonna keep your belt on the floor and just lift your bum. Okay, give me double time and lift. Up and up and up, that's it. And when that cheek gets tired, if it starts to burn, you stop. Don't work through pain. And if you'll just stop a couple of repetitions, the tension will release and you can start over again. And then you'll be, you'll be able to go longer and longer every time. Let's take that straight leg and bend it down. See if you like it any better. Just bring it in. That's it. Keep pumping. Keep pumping. Can you feel it in the cheek? Your calvins are going to fit. We got eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, 
two, last one, a quick hug. Oh, yes. Yeah, rub it, rub it. Always helps to rub it. <laughs> it deserves a pat today. Okay, if you got another weight, stick it on that leg. Remember, the weight-bearing leg is fairly near your bum. Lift up, down. Up, let me remind you to try and keep your belt or your low back on the floor and think about just li uh, lifting the fleshy part of your cheeks. All right, ready? Double time. Here we go. And lift, and lift, lift. That's it. That's it. Hang in here. Grit your teeth. Up, and up, up. Now, if you like that straight leg extended, you got it. I'm going to bring mine down. Up, up, up. That's it. Now just hang on, hang on, hang on. If you want overload, you get that two-year-old to come and sit right here on your pelvis or on your knee. Just add a little more weight. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, pull it in real quick, real quick. Let's get up here and work your quads. Just lift and down. Now those are hip flexors and we add something. It's up, down, bring it in and out. Down, up, in and out. So the lifting and lowering is hip flexor, but the in and out is quadriceps. In and out. Down, up, in and out. Four more. That's it. Give me three more. And last two, you won't need many with weights on here. Last one, and up, and in, and out. Switch legs, here you go. Hip flexors, just down and up, yeah. All right, here we go. And the pattern, down, up, in, and out. Now you can increase your weight day by day. As long as you can maintain good body alignment, you got it on weight, just keep adding her on. And it's eight, and, Seven. How you guys doing? Six. <laughs> the smiles are, are gri grimaces in disguise. Four. Hang on. Here's three. Building up some stamina on those big muscle groups. Last two. Oof. Oof. Last one. Down and up and in and out. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, are you ready to stretch? You feel like you had it for today? Just take those weights off right there and come right back down on your back side. Pull your thigh up to your chest, just as snug as she'll go. And then to stretch the hamstrings, you can just straighten that leg out. We worked hamstrings today. When? When we did all those backward kicks. You know in aerobics when we kept kicking backwards? Those were hamstrings at work. And just hold it there. Now you're very hot and you will best develop your range of motion now. We can do intense developmental stretch with you where we couldn't in warm up. In warm up we have to do real, real moderate stretch because the muscles are still reasonably cold. So if you want to get hot, even by sitting in a soaker of a bathtub or taking a long hot shower, and then do the stretch, you'll increase your range of motion more efficiently. Okay, let's switch those legs. The other side, coming up. First the thigh, which is kind of a pre-stretch, and then extend it out. Don't be surprised if one leg is more flexible than the other. So it is with me, so it is with most. We're a little lopsided. Let me say one more thing to you about reducing body fat. I would ask you not to eat less, not to try and control the quantity you eat, but to try and make better food choices. Eat less fat. Eat low fat, but don't starve yourself. Don't, don't get on one of these starvation diets that's gonna make you feel miserable. Okay, up and over here. Up you come. We need to stretch the hip flexor muscles, the muscles that lift your knee up, that lift your thigh up to your chest, because we use those in a lot in aerobics. I need your knee behind or over top your foot, but not forward, not compressing that knee. 
and just point those toes and back. Rest your tired old body on your thigh here and make an effort to press your groin just as low to the floor as you can and hold it. Hip flexors correlate with back health. If you have good, strong, flexible hip flexors, you tend to have less back ache. If they're tight and weak, you may have back ache. So we're getting your hip flexors in order as well as your abdominals, which also correlate with back problems. Okay, haul that leg back there. Give me a nice broad runner's stretch and just stretch those calf muscles. They worked hard for you today. They deserve their little moment of glory. A little tension on the muscles of the calf. You can feel that. And switch. You're pressing your heel toward the floor, but in this broad stretch, it's not going to touch the floor. And switch it again. Oh, does that feel good. Whoa, whoa. Even if you're running, that kind of good, strong calf stretch is real critical to keeping those legs injury free. Okay, draw up that other leg now and stretch your other set of hip flexors. Remember that the knee is behind the foot, not out in front. All right, just rest, just collapse. Good deep breathing. And you'll probably sag down into your stretch a little deeper on the exhalation if you take nice deep breaths. And think, relax, the hard part's over. You've done your kick at the cat today. And you can feel good in knowing that for the next five or so hours, you're burning more calories than normal. Now if you can just leave that front leg there and sit down under it and use it to, br to brace and turn around Stretch the little erector spiny muscles in your back. See if you can put that chin right over the back shoulder and then just drop it down on your chest and bring it forward. Oh, yes. That's got to be the best part. Bring these soles right together here in an effort to bring your feet as close as you can to your groin. Holding on to your ankles here, press your, your knees out and see if you can stretch the groin and the adductor muscles on the inside thigh, and then around the other side. Now this is the good part. Use that knee to brace and push behind. The chin goes right back there on the shoulder. You can even feel this stretch in the upper body if you really give it a turn. Drop your chin down and to the front. Guys, you hung right in there. Now, not today and not this week, but over the long haul, this is going to start paying off with all the many benefits accrued to aerobic activity. Good on you. Hang in there. Get yourself a good day. Oh, yes. Drop your head over. Maximum distance. Exercise wear by Reebok. Today we wore the Reebok Instructor 5000, the most technically advanced aerobic shoe in the world. Weight equipment by Flex Weights, the one weight that does it all. And our thanks to the good folks at About Face and Jerome who try and make us look as good as we feel. <laughs>